Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today what I'm gonna do is I wanna basically tell you when should you use these and when should you not use these. Now this box here is in a previous video if you wanna watch this video here about if your box is way too far back in the wall. I'll link it right up here in this corner. You guys can check that out. But why do you use these and when would you use these? Now the code reads that if a box is back past the sheetrock, quarter of an inch or more, you have to use a box extender or something like that, which is this right here. This is a box extender, okay? It has to be in that because anything past a quarter inch is not code and you risk the chance of a fire. So this is what you would use in that case. All right, so when would you use these? Now, these things right here, what are they and what do they do? So what you do with these, if you ever been you're, I'm sure you, if you're watching this, you may, you may have had this or maybe not, or you've been somewhere where you have seen this. Now, this is what they look like. They're just plastic, and what they do, they're kind of accordion, so basically what you do is you fold them, and they snap together, and you fold them, and they snap together, so on and so forth. And what that does is it brings the receptacle out, all right? So if you have a receptacle box that is less than a quarter of an inch, let's say it's an eighth inch back, and you put your receptacle in here, and it's loose, or let's say the ears are broken off of the receptacle, which let me show you what that looks like. So on this receptacle, this would be the ears right here. Some people do break them off, not really sure why. That's what kind of holds your receptacle off the box. But regardless, if, it's, if it is broke and the receptacle sits back, uh, which I don't like to see, you know, because it's too far back in the wall, and it's less than a quarter of an inch, so let's just say it's eighth inch, we'll just go with eighth inch and it's very wobbly even after you screw it up or what have you uh, these will be perfect for you to use all right so basically like i said let's say you only need two so you would just rip two off like that and then you would just snap it together like so and then you would put it you see how it's cut out you would put this behind the screw it snaps on and now you have a spacer and you can tighten it up and it should be tight now Let's go ahead and show you a demonstration because it makes no sense for me to sit here and try to tell you what it is and you not visually see it. So I'm gonna show you guys what it would look like if you needed one. All right, so not every single receptacle and everything's gonna look like this, obviously. It shouldn't anyway. But like I said, this is just the naked, there's no more ears on this at all. So what you would have at this point, you would have very, like when you screw it in, uh, I don't know if you can see from this angle or not, but it is basically flush with the wall. So, uh, and it is right at about an eighth of an inch back in here. Uh, anything more than, like I said, a quarter inch, believe me, a quarter inch, uh, you have to use a sleeve. And even from my own opinion, I would just go ahead and use a sleeve. I don't really care much for these little foldy things, but they do come handy if you just have a few. Now, if you have a whole bunch of them, uh, the sleeves are way better. And I will link down below to Amazon where you can get those sleeves from and these little foldy yellow things too. So let me show you how they work and uh, we'll go from there. All right, so first thing you need to do is figure out how far you need to extend it out. So basically I would leave it on the strip and just kind of snap them in there and get them what you think you would need. So you would know that two is probably not gonna be enough, but three might be too much. So let's see how that works. Now I've seen people I used to always use um, little pieces of wire to extend it out, which is okay also, but these things are very handy, actually. Like I said, you know, for the most part, that is probably where you want to be. Um, so basically you're going to need three. All right, so we'll just use three real quick. I got three left on here. We'll fold these up and we will put them on and see what happens. But you can use the wire. Like I said, it does work. That's what I used to always use. And uh, it always did very good when I used it. All right, so what we wanna do is we wanna put these on before we put the receptacle in until it gets to where you can slide these on. And you wanna slide both of them on while you have it off. You don't wanna to try to fight it on after the fact because that makes no sense really. All right, so we'll just put them on and we will screw it on there. And now it's not gonna flop back in the box. It's good and stout and you can put your plate right on it and everything is completely level. It won't be sucked back in the box and when you go to plug something in, it won't you know, go all over the place and break your, your cover plate. Let me show you what would happen if we did not have these on because that right there is the 
what these are for because if you don't have these, let's say, and you put these on like so, right? You want to screw them on here. There's really no way to keep it straight because a lot of people do that and they'll put their cover plate on so it looks like it's that and as soon as you go to plug something in, boom, it goes back there, the plate breaks off and then you're screwed, all right? You don't want to do that. You want to use the proper stuff for the for what you need, all right? Like I said, my go-to is those white box extensions. They make it so much better and a lot easier to use. That's what I like to use, a little bit of extensions that way, you know, they're good and tight in there and you don't have to worry about anything at this point. All right, so make sure you check the description, guys. I will leave the link for these uh, down below. You can buy from Amazon. I also have them at Lowe's. Uh, obviously, Amazon's better because you don't have to go out, especially with COVID and all. You can just order these things and have them sent to your house and there you are. They're fairly cheap, fairly inexpensive and easy to use. Um, guys, you know, just do what you know. You know, make sure if it's more than a, uh, a quarter of an inch that you use, you know, one of these Arlington box extenders. I'll, like I said, I'll leave that down below. Also in the description for Amazon. And uh, yeah, that's all you gotta do. So if it's a quarter inch or more, use those. Let anything less, use these. And guys, if you like what you see, like and subscribe. God bless, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Have a great day.